Right. Go nowhere. I'm going to report on what I report on. Yeah, it's but I'm mad. saying, okay, so you're saying you're reporting, but I'm saying you have a fiduciary Soldier duty to child, actually do the background, do the Soldier research, child, do proper research yeah, if you're going to say you're a journalist. I, on what happened. I know, but if somebody I puts out fake news, you have a fiduciary what, what responsibility what to actually that? do the proper research and vetting behind what, what story. Like you can't just hide behind what the fact that a blog word? reported it. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not inciting you doing anything. Okay, but what I am saying is, anything. if a blog puts something out, and just because a blog puts something out, that doesn't give credence for people to go around and put reporting on based on what they saw on the blog. What was, you have what a duty. You news? have a duty, especially if someone's trying to create a platform. You have a what duty to actually. News? You have you have a duty to go and do the proper research behind what you're putting out, especially if you so say have a relationship with so said individuals what, that you're what, actually reporting news? on. What was so I, I did. If you're listening to me, my question is, do you hold a responsibility in journalism to do the proper vetting and research before you put a story out versus just hiding behind the fact that it was reported on a blog? No, because this is what people that. who journalism I, I are complaining about story. people putting out stories well, just because they see it the on the we'll internet. Down. Don't, don't argue with me. Bro, don't argue. No, I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm, 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 I'm asking an ethical question. He's not question. a journalist, bro. He I'm a not, fake Jason Yeah, I'm asking an ethical question. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, I, that, that's a attention. sincere question, though, Ian. I'm asking Isn't an ethical. About black women? Why I'm, I, I'm asking an ethical I'm question. Where your women, ethics you don't, you don't mess that's with. That's weird. All right, about There's women too alone. Many people on Ion, like yeah, one it's at weird. a time. Nah, nah, nah. How that like power is in his room? I don't you go like to his room, that's how it is. It'd be like 800 people. Nah, we talking to you. Shoot them. Right. Everybody. Can we start shooting everybody? Anybody that ad libs pop. Student, bro, he gonna All report right, so, you so, so re realistically, <laughs> said was asking a genuine question. I get it. It may not. And I you said may I'm not, not answering. Answer it. And I hold, hold, I time out. I understand you might not want to answer it, but the question was genuine, and it kind of it, it would benefit the conversation to be had or for, for that for it to be answered. I understand. I completely understand why you probably don't want to answer. But his point still stands that if you if you're going to put yourself in that position of reporting journalism. There is a moral duty that as a journalist go by that says, "Hey, man, ain't got no morals." Spread this before I go spread this. I don't. My, I don't. My platform right. to all of my people. I'm gonna check. Stop having sure expectations. There isn't anything. And, 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 and not only keep letting that man just talk over over. And not and not only that, Omar. That's it's that, it's that, also that, important. And and, and 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 not only that. It's important even when you said. He came and cleared it up. Whack came and cleared it up. You also hold the ethical responsibility to reverse the damage in which you replaced. What the, Just I never the said room. he was gay, so what am I clearing what, up? Well, you said you boomed the room, yeah. so you, that's a uh, that's a obvious that's an obvious admission that I need no, to stop not. what's going on it's from not. moving forward. Hey, what, what, was, so, hey, what was the so name of the room? So if you have to if you got a if you have to the boom the room, room, the name was the what other room was the title of what said in the blog. But, okay, well, okay, what was on the blog? Ben Dino. Can 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 I finish? Or what? Uh, go ahead. What was the question again? What was the name of the blog? Uh, what was the name of the blog? Or the no, the, the name of the, the blog oh, about was, Benzino. Uh, Benzino caught in a hotel with a man. Okay, no, so, okay so hold on, hold on. So, uh, and I think this is the issue some people are having with the situation that happened was you did the room about was he caught in a hotel with a man. But you also told us that when Wack came and cleared up what happened, you ended the room versus clearing up some of the speculation that was made because of the title. Because if because the thing about it is this, if if it was understood that no one was insinuating that he was gay, there would have been nothing for Wack to clear up. So if you're telling us that Wack came in and cleared up that it wasn't he was in there with a sexual partner, but it was a friend and they were checking out of a hotel a little later and you ended the room versus saying, hey, look, it was reported on this blog that it might have been some homo, homo, like some sexual things going on, but that's not the case. Wack came in here and cleared up how a lot of times when people travel in large groups for touring and other things, men share rooms. It was nothing sexual. It was just two men that were in a room, and it shouldn't have been reported as if or insinuated that the man was gay. And then you could have continued the conversation. You could have ended the conversation. But the lack of that 
is why people are kind of putting you in the hot seat with this because there was and you. But hold on, hold on. No one's no one says you are anyone's child, but <laughs> you're coming as a journalist or a personality that is talking about current events. So if the blog is incorrect and you're reporting on the blog and someone cleared the that up, so you ended a room. So you understood it, that it was incorrect when WAC cleared it, but you never made that statement that's in not, your room. That's not what happened. You ended the that's room. Is what? what well, can you I'm can you enlighten happened. us how on how you told their it. audience that the blog was wrong and that no. the insinuations of him being gay are false? No, that is not what happened, y'all. Before I even got an up, I did the room just started. I didn't even get an opportunity to speak. Wack was already on stage. I um, I just started the room, so I didn't even say anything. It was just the title. That was it. So I didn't insinuate anything. What Wack is talking about everything I said when me and him and Benzino was arguing in the room. I didn't say anything. Y'all can listen to the replays once again. But we're not talking about the conversation. Well, uh, but, but no, but that's but this the thing though. We're talking, we're talking about no. We're talking, but but I am. We're talking about what but happened with you I in that room. Something. I didn't say you said anything. Okay, I said so it was a lack of change that you said. You opened the room to talk about what this blog talked about. Perfectly understandable. But the issue is, the blog made an insinuation of this man being gay. The room, people in your room were also making that same insinuation. So, if you're telling me, as someone who was just a, a, a witness in this room, that WAC 100 cleared up, that it was nothing gay going on, I felt like as a person who commented on this situation, it would have only been fair I for you to on the situation. Uh, Why you, keep you, you, help, you hosted a space up. How did you not when you hosted a space about it? That's this is semantics. Open before, yeah, like it's like no point, bro. It's no point. Victim. We gonna play victim what are you not getting? Right I, go listen to the room. It's right there. The, before the room, on the corner with spoke, I, I, I could not believe black women ain't gonna say it. You know I don't like you. You know I don't like you, but I give you the credit of knowing that you're smarter than this. So this yeah, right now, on. we all believe. <laughs> okay, so like, let me host my space because we, we we believe that this is willful ignorance, and I think anybody who's in here with the genuine intention to understand can see that that's that's willful ignorance that you're doing. You, you I get it. You reported something that you saw somewhere else. But, it's one of those things. I think I think the statement is the apology should be just as loud as the disrespect. Your apology or your clearing it up was not nearly as loud as your disrespect. Here's this is the you, do you know what the sort of democracy is? It, it's it's pretty much telling you heavy, you know, what I'm saying heavy as the head to wears the crown. All right. You got this platform. You got all these people that follow you. You got this congregation. You can say something, mention something, write something, post something. And those people will that that will get disseminated to your following. If you don't go up and clear that back up, most of your following would just go off of the first statement. But, so if you are not willing to offer the same amount of recourse, like to pull it back to say, hey, y'all, I also found out it wasn't true, then you are being, as far as journalism is concerned, you're being in a, you're being intellectually dishonest. You're being he dishonest. Left, bro, he ran. But I mean, he but that's treated what, wrong when it started a room on you, bro. That's but I mean, but doing. that's but that's what people because the thing about it is this: we've been all been on this app for over a year now, for the most part. If you start a conversation about something, there's no fucking way in hell during the whole room you're not going to speak on what you started. It's in fucking possible. And then if it's if that is a situation where you start a room and you don't say anything at all, you still have responsibility to fix said errors in your space, especially when speaking on current events. Because the thing about it is you started a room off with a blog said, but you held a space for people in your space to make insinuations that you had been corrected on, but you never corrected those people in your audience. So how are we sitting here saying that? Like, and then, and then the thing with Wack, why I agree with you on is you can't say me that you didn't say anything about this man's sexuality, but then come and tell me that when I corrected you, you agree with me and shut your space down. Here go the thing, bro. When he on this stage, bro, he Hitler. He run that shit with an iron fist. When somebody come challenge him, he don't. Hey, bro, out, at the end of the day, out, look, when somebody come challenge him on his stage, he don't know how to deal with it. And listen, bro, what people do is what people do. My thing is this. If a man is not that, don't try to make him that, bro. Like, that's not what he is. We cool. That's what you is. We not running around bashing. That's what you do. Cool. But don't try to make make this man got got a daughter that's a huge name and face in the industry. He's in the industry. So now here it is. You put this out on this platform, you got a thousand people on your stage and you laughing about it. And his exact words was, you heard him say my partner's in the shower. I'm like, I am. Uh, that's how in straight men, that doesn't mean somebody we're having sex with. Like we don't, 
my partner, my friend, my comrade, does it what that mean, bro. We tour. I keep eight double rooms. I keep 16 men in, in, in two rooms apiece. Like, that's that's what it is, bro. We're not thinking what you're thinking. When we go in a room, we go in a room. Sometimes it be three, four with a well, roll in. Well, ain't even, you ain't even got to talk about it with music Crazy. because if you've ever played football and you play yeah. on a traveling squad, yeah. you share rooms. If you play basketball and all yeah, that, it's you play What is he like, doing in a room with a if man? You got, if you got cousins and y'all went on a family trip, do you like, why are we acting like this is something like exactly. un, not understandable? It's crazy, bro. I don't know. Well, he left here when it started the room. That's what he do. They protect dude on this app. They told me, you know, I talked to the clubhouse people, right? Because they wanted to give me a 30, but it, it, it the politics worked against him. I'm like, yo, bro, listen, that man called this man this. Wack, like, well, you saying he got yo, favoritism on here? What? what? Wake that bro, up. Listen, Wake it up for us. He's listen, doing bro, a mass report. They said, this is what they told me. They said, look, the fact that you guys, because he couldn't get us for calling him, a sissy, be, a queer, because that's what he told us to call him. I said, yo, he told us to call him queer. He said he want us to call him a queer man. So that's not disrespectful. I'm like, but on the flip side, he calling this man gay that's not gay. They said that's not disrespectful. That's not um, bullying. But the fact that you guys insinuated, when we asked him how many pills does he take, they took that and hit us both. They said to you, what he said was cool. But the pills, us sitting like, yo, they openly talk about these fucking pills. We don't know about them. Bro, these well, folks kinda, made this shit to where can't nobody say nothing. Right. We can't right. say nothing. They can say everything about us to, to us, but we bet not title. say nothing back. To, to tie, that's see what this black women point of the room, that's the issue. That that's the issue that I would take me personally. Let me speak for myself then and not the whole room. That's the issue. I mean, I don't blame the, the black I don't women. A lot of people understand that they have superseded black people in the, the, the race for civil rights. I don't, I don't know if anybody... Now, I will that. say this about our women, though, bro. For some reason, I guess maybe because they be, like, cool with them dudes as friends or whatever, they will look at us as if y'all need, y'all shouldn't go so hard. Like, what you mean? Like, we're men. Like, we're, we're like it's how we defend ourselves. They, they will side a guy. I ain't saying all, but a lot of women, I wonder, do, are they husbands straight? The ones no, they same. used to do that, whack. They done stop now. That that now they finally pushing back and agreeing with us. And we've been telling them this shit was going on from this album. That shit crazy. But see, bro. but that's that's but that's what the room is about, right there. Is that black women in some ways will allow the gay community to slander black men at the detriment of their own family members. Because oh, the men yeah, they're speaking you. to, like the men they're speaking to are black men. So if you're a black woman, you have a brother that's black. You have a cousin that's black, a father, gotcha. a potential boyfriend, a husband that's black. Yeah. So your son would be black. So if this is the consensus that you are allowing this community to put out about your black men, what does that say about you? Because you're in communities with these black men. You're trying to mate with these black men. You're trying to raise these black men. So is, is it the statement that these things are true and y'all play a factor in this? Or are these things false and y'all are just allowing this false narrative to go out about us? And then the flip side of it is these people who are saying it's a black. And they never put these straight black men as this. They say black men as this as if it's a separate class of black men that, that they're not a part of. So how that's why I always let me because so I want to jump in because I'm re I've been chilling reading the chat, letting y'all have it. I wanted the, the one on one to play out between Wack and Ion because it was a neutral neutral ground. Right, nobody had to be. They gave it up how they gave it up. So y'all in the chat trying to lie and say niggas was bullying Ion. That's cat. No, nah, that's also, what they do, bro. Right, but y'all, y'all also in the chat. Y'all in the chat calling whack gay. This man married with children, and y'all calling the nigga gay for the because business. They can do whatever they want. They, they can do what they want. If I go respond to that in that chat, they gonna book me, bro. Hey, but be, but clear. that's the, but that's the, but that is a part of the fake alliance the problem, because right, you right. will have black women calling this nigga gay as if Ion isn't right. gay. Because if you're if you're just calling whack gay as an insult, what does that say about Ion, who is a black gay man? Mm. So how do y'all have a true alliance if y'all are slandering both men at the same time? That's not a good point. Because if you're trying to make That's it real. seem as, no no, because you're trying to make it seem as if whack is less a man because he's gay. 
That's not the Bro, reason that man why they're ain't doing gay. It. No, I mean, well, then what, uh, what other? Hold on, hold on. What no, other reason? What? No, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. What other Jesus. reason will people have to call him gay it and down. question his sexuality exactly. if it wasn't to down him? I I would, what, what they're trying to say is, how can you claim to have an alliance with someone when you use that to degrade someone else? You're le- you're saying it that it's a lesser position is something that's it's degradable. Like that's what it is. You can't say that this is my homie, but at the same time say, oh, you acting like somebody has some shade on him that's shady that's fucked up it's, it's degrading now, a no, man no, the bigger you... point is this is that why are you calling a nigga gay who don't sleep with men bro but how do y'all know what he's doing he's but this you. the thing if he says he's not gay and then you keep going about it well, how is that not slander yeah, he... how, how y'all not defaming this man character by wait, doing hold that on, shit? wait so wait yeah please please let me talk so w- w- are we really talking about the nigga told you so now we're not believing people now do you know the precedent that sets? No. So we believe, they, we'll, wait, so hold on, everybody, wait. If we don't believe when somebody says they don't do stuff to how they show up, we ain't got to believe nothing y'all say. And that's the beauty of what happened today. Is because you had it. Hold on, hold on. Because here's the thing, Naughty. You said if you don't believe whack, why did y'all get mad when Tia didn't believe that y'all were women? Why was it such an issue for a woman to say, I don't believe that you people are women? If we're going to sit here and say we don't, hold on, bro. If we're going to sit here and say that we don't care if a man tells you he's not gay, we also are going to sit here and not, like, how does that work? If you ain't got a cycle, you ain't a female. Period. Right, that way. I'm going to stand on that. I can't produce no goddamn bread That's milk. A fact. So stand on that. This is a great example as to why everybody's calling white gay. Shout out to my women. This is a good example as to why everybody is in the chat calling white gay. Because at the end of the day, this is the thing. Why are you speaking on? You just said up. Someone just said out their mouth. Oh, if someone tells you they're not gay, you need to believe them. Blah blah blah. But yeah, why are you speaking on someone else's, uh, like sexuality, what they're doing? What but they if they're calling the, him the, gay, aren't they because, speaking on? Hold on. But if they're calling him gay, aren't they speaking on his sexuality and the things he's doing? Yes, they are. So yeah. how do you not have the same folk for the people who are calling this man gay? That's not the point. That's the thing. No, it is the it point. Is that, point. These niggas it, double standard as fuck, bro. If that ain't the point that you're making, then you need to get back in the audience because that's what we're talking about. Okay, but y'all, I seen, but I y'all, seen, y'all right, I, I, guess what, I don't know you, fam, but it's our space. So you can either play by our rules or get gone. Yeah, I mean, but one hey, but, and this is what we're gonna do. One mic on hold on, Antoine, one mic on Naughty, and then you can go after Naughty. Go ahead, Naughty. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, how about you that, enjoy that this space? How about you, you don't care really, about no space then, my nigga? That works. Go ahead now. And I'm back. I'm Hello. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this shit back that, nigga. we all gotta take we all gotta take accountability right now because now I feel like we picking and choosing. I was just in a we room do. then Zeno you know, just called another man Ooh. gay numerous of times. Now we picking and choosing. Now you saying that somebody else can't call him gay because he got a and what room was that, Lottie? Ben, ben hold on, hold on. Meeting. To be honest, between the two of y'all, before y'all go down that road, and all honesty, Naughty, I get that. That's the actions of one person. We talk about the overall implication of it when, when someone tells us that it is wrong for us to challenge somebody else's belief in their identity, and then we, you know, somebody says, "Oh, well, that person over there is such and such," and that person says, "No, I'm not," and then people double down on that. Those two things create a hypocritical situation somebody's being a hypocrite there now what what whack does or what whoever does individually as a person cool y'all can go argue about that in your back channels we talking about the overall point of two people doing the same thing but only one person receiving any kind of pushback for it that's what we talk about so speak to that there has been times i come in these rooms never disrespect nobody right disrespect nobody but just because i'm a trans a trans woman i can be coming to rooms get caught men's and things like that or whatever like that but then i can't defend myself right but y'all saying it like when we do it to y'all it's the problem i have never in life just come in a room disrespecting no type of man no type of woman and again we're not monoliths and i'm only speaking for myself and it's just weird to me that now everybody's just against the lgbt community in a way that y'all we're not against nobody against y'all but can I but in real quick? Can I say something real quick? Oh, wait, this not, Chardin. Not, 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 Let me say not, something not, real quick. Y'all, y'all know how to bar. I know Wack got y'all in a tizzy. Cause y'all think, but like, no, 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 no,
I, I think sometimes people are too prideful. And again, no, it's I yes or no. It's telling the I truth mean, about a person. Arrested, but at the same time, if the truth can be disrespectful to a certain degree, everything no, don't need to be. Disrespectful. You, what I'm saying, Naughty, is regardless of what you've done, if somebody calls you a man, you shouldn't take that disrespectful because that's what you are. Regardless of whatever I, transformation you did, right. that's I, cool. I, we, now, if somebody call you a derogatory name, like something else, then I get that. But if that's they call you a man, you shouldn't take that as disrespect. That's derogatory to me. Wait, wait. So wait everybody, uh, everybody, wait. Who got Herm blocked? Because I'll put, I'll put everybody down. Not my nigga. You got Herm, Herm blocked, leave, or go down. Herm? I don't know that. Is. Put them down. Yeah, I, I know they too. Who got Herm blocked on the stage? Yeah, whoever got Herm blocked, you corny. You're not blocking the Mario, nigga. I'm sorry. Herm Herm blocked. Blocked. Just leave quietly and come back. That's all. Just leave. Yeah, just hey. drop yourself and come back up. Hey, you know, me cool. home. Ain't me. I'll, I'll go one by one. His name is Pros and Cons. Yeah, if you I, don't, I don't know, know who that is. Come come back. Back. I just drop you. He will always be home. Let my brother in. See, people got people black and don't want to speak on and don't want to stand. That's up. weird. Yeah. Yeah, and then want to sit quiet on the fucking stage, but when you get confronted about it, you need to drop yourself and leave the fucking room. Let her in. Relax. Say it again, Wack. If you down in the goo from the 100 show, you follow that greenhouse. If you follow the 100 show in the goo, follow that greenhouse. Tap in with the Barrios. We going up for this head man. Yeah, hey, we need it, man. Thank y'all for real. I'm, this shit I'm is past due. Because y'all are a charity case. But go in, <laughs> Dr. B, I need you to check my PTR. Somebody said something very disrespectful in the chat. I, I just feel like if I'm, if I'm, if we, we build another report. Are and you I tell serious? You, I go to the whack, right? I believe that you should give me the same respect that I'm giving you. And if you feel too prideful to call me she and her, you can call me by my name. I just think that it's about respect. And I think oftentimes people be too prideful because they want to be too prideful. You can call you can call your boyfriend DD, CC, whatever the fuck they want to be called. So if I want to be called that, then you feel like, oh, well, no. I mean, I'm speaking the truth. Like, I just feel like that's disrespectful to a certain degree, especially when I never disrespected you. And the same thing for us, because if you read Jaguars PTR, right? Wow. This, this this says cis women That's should wild. be organ donors for trans women. And I literally just spoke about how... Okay, can I say women, one thing? I've been trying to get in queue for a minute. No, you finished? I don't how black yeah, women... I'm just saying we, other we, people we talking and, and they're not even in the queue, though. We don't, we, don't do a re, we don't really do a queue. We kind of pick and choose. I'm sorry. I, I promise you. Okay, but can I get in queue, please? I've been asking Dr. B. We got you. And it was the conversation between Nadia and... Go ahead, sister. As I was saying, Jaguars, PTR is pretty egregious, especially when we talk about black women are four times more likely to die in the hospital during labor. You take our placentas, you take our uteruses, you take our fetuses out of us, and then you turn around and throw it in our face. And then you turn around and throw it in our face and then and then expect us to have so much respect for you and how you want to identify when it's actually a medical apartheid against us literally for real in real time like the tuskegee experiment in real time black women literally can't even make it out the hospital alive right now with technology this shit is sad and it's sick sensei that hold on right quick sensei That's sensei me. i'm gonna bring this person up and let this person say let, I just like I said, it's easy to talk in the chat. And I'm that wasn't you, you Sade. I don't want you to. I want you or to, naughty. Yeah, yeah, nah. I'm bringing the person up who said it because I believe it was Nyla. So I'm, I sent. Can Nyla I say Empire, something, please? Please let Sade go. Please let Sade go. Man, y'all just so skip it over me. <laughs> let Sade go first, please. <laughs> All I want to say is, my whole thing is, it has. There has to be boundaries, right? We have to set boundaries, right? I feel like most of the people who are a part of, of, of the community make it harder for the straight people to accept us, right? Because of the shit sometimes they do. And like Naughty said, we do have to take 
all of us have to take accountability for the things we say and the actions that we do, right? And this is just my opinion. Nobody can't agree with me if they don't want to. But I just feel like when you set boundaries for yourself and and you have respect for others, they will uh, respect you. Now, Wack, he sees us trans women as men, right? I, I can't argue that because that's his his opinion. And I just feel like long as I have the respect and long as I respect him and he and he respect me, that's all that matters. And I just feel like respect goes both ways. And that's all I wanted to say this whole time, you know, because most people of the community do make it harder for others to be accepted. And that's just how I feel. And this ain't a pop rock room. This ain't a pop rock room. Yeah, you know what? I appreciate that. And, and, and look, and I want you to understand this. Thank you. When I say I see you as a man, I want you to understand my psyche. The day that I meet, I see you as a woman, as a straight man, at that point in time, I just crossed over to your side. No, 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 I just want you to understand. Yeah, if I see a, somebody that I know is a man, no, this is real shit. If I, if a straight man starts to see another man as a woman, then we playing y'all game. It's just the truth. No, that's how that's society. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But as long as I can respect for you, can respect me. That's it, right? No, I'm not gonna call you out of your name. Look, I'm not gonna call you out of your name or attack you or none of that. I'm not gonna jump to the other side of the street when you when you're walking. I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm just telling you, I'm not gonna have the conversation with you that I would have a conversation with a a woman with a female. And that's understandable. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And that's, fine. that's okay, all I'm fine. saying. That's fine. But I just feel all, all I wanted to that, say though. is that respect goes both ways. Both ways. And like I said, well, we go because one way over here. No, I'm you just saying, way. like, I respect you and you respect me. I understand you trying to be funny and shit, but I'm not trying to be funny with you. I'm trying to have a real conversation, though, you know? So I feel like respect goes both ways on both parties. That's all I wanted to say. Um, T. Amor, T. Omar, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I think you're in a Matrix, fam. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Um, I just got to know. Why the fuck I, is everybody a country nigga in the back of it, so I'm, I'm gonna have Why is everybody slandering my name? I'm, I'm trying to pop them in the chat as fast as they cuss. So There's I got something you. you said in the chat, Nyla. Oh, what I say in the chat? Like, Nyla. hello? Phone for three All seconds. Right, so now it's Nyla is evil. Nyla got STDs or all this extra shit. I'm making well, it bad for other trans girls. girls. What happened? No. Nala, don't make it about yourself. You'll get sent yeah. to the goo. Don't do that. Look at the chat. The whole chat is about me, Dr. B. Well, this is the stage. That's the stage cool. of the chat. That's cool. You're on the stage now. Yeah, we, well, we somebody said they was so pulling me up to talk about it, so let's talk about it. Omar wanted you to come on stage so he can address you about the situation in the little chat, sister. Okay, well, when you ready, I'm all guns blazing. Check, check P, uh, Jaguar's PTR and explain to us how, when, how, how I guess we'll call them cishet women or naturally born women. How should naturally born women feel about that? Mm. Bruh. And we're That's four times disturbing. more likely to die in high About what? I don't see nothing. Check Jaguar's PTR. I mean, Sensei, you want to read it to her? I mean, read it, read it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll read it. it. <laughs> okay, Bobby. Dog, All right, now listen. Yeah, because I knew it's I was going to make it one way or another. Hold on. So let me tell you why I just said what I just said, girl. Women. Damn. Anyways, this is why I said what I said, right? Because somebody actually just back channeled me and said that trans women are out here killing black women and stealing their organs. Where's the receipts? What? I can screenshot that too. Hello? Somebody do it. told me that, do this it. Tia, that this Tia Beanie girl told said do it. it. That's why I said what I said. Screenshot in the it. Yeah. You don't it, got no oh evidence. God, you're lying. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, why I gotta lie? Not too much on Tia. Your opinion. So, so do you feel like, so you didn't have anything. It's 20. Or, or, hold on, hold on, man. I don't want to start, I don't want to start moving. Look, so you you weren't saying that for any kind of progressive or good reason. You were no. saying it as a tit for tat response. Yeah, pretty much. I just want to come back on stage. But um, 
Because oh. I had a whole bunch of other shit, shit that I really wanted y'all to hear. Because let me mad. tell you why. Let me tell you something. That shit would never work anyways. It just would never work. They already tried it with people. It just would never work. <laughs> But anyway, like if y'all was smart, y'all would know that. If to well, be we honest, so now you calling us dumb and really scientific, like I am, That's you would know that. You. What? I'm gonna say, let me let me say something to this. I think she's lying because she would have came up with the receipt. I, I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy, please, what the fuck? I need her to give me your organ, dog. Hey, chill out. Chill I got out. my own organ. So y'all, you see what I'm trying to say real quick? For the sake of keeping, hey, girl, keeping the, the, the conversation and keeping the stage kind of normal, kind of, I mean, kind of personal, can we please not engage with the food? We, we, we know when we see you and we hear you, don't engage it because it's just going to I mean, you know, when you oh hear them talk, oh my God, boy, like shut the fuck up! Everybody know me. Everybody, know, everybody know I bring the best points today, motherfucking face. So let's not do that. Whack your mic talk. Mute up, phone. Go ahead, repeat what you said, Omar. All right, now I just had to move that person. So look, when y'all see or hear the foolishness, you can't you can't take the bait because the bait just causes the stage to turn into chaos. Y'all know that because that, that I asked the question. I said, so you didn't say that because you had anything progressive to say or because you were making a point. You just wanted to do tit for tat. Don't take the bait because now the stage becomes tit for tat. Everybody's screaming or everybody's quote unquote attacking one person. Y'all see the bait. Y'all hear the fuck ass shit. Just, just try to ignore it. Like I'm gonna clean the stage when it happens, but y'all don't take the bait, please, because it, it derails the any kind of potential conversation we could be having. You follow me? My fucking app is glitching. Is everybody else glitching? Yeah, too? every yeah, mine is going crazy. crazy. They doing they doing the update yeah. right now. This shit crazy. But also stay out of the chat because you can't. No, that you know, chat is crazy. making everybody phones glitch. Yeah, <laughs> they wild in the cool. chat, man. You got to turn it off for a minute. Wait, how I turn it off? I don't know how to. You do go to the shit. three dots. All right. And then you click disable chat. What the fuck is it? At? I don't see it. Allow so chat. Three say allow chat. Okay, allow room chat. Okay, guys. Uh, right, yeah. All right. All right. Sorry, y'all. Uh, we'll we'll give y'all the chat back in a second. So, but we got to make sure the room don't fuck up. I just want to talk to the one man so I can have a conversation at this point because I'm just trying to figure out why can't we coexist together? Because, I mean, especially the ones that are talking crazy, why can't we just pick pick out those people to say that's a bad individual or a bad person? Why do we have to group us all together? Like, if I never, you know, shared a stage or was in community with these women. So I'm just trying to figure out how we can we move the goalposts and some type of positivity. I think we can. It's the fair ground to have room to actually coexist. However, I think what happens is when you try to, to, to you know, that bridge, that, that gap, we could only as straight women go or, or naturally born women, we could only go so far because like I think a lot of people are seeing now and a lot of women like how are we having a, a, a transgender man as woman of the year? Or how do we have a, a, a man that is coming over from uh, sports, swimming, now he's the number one woman in a female. Like how far does my support for you go until it start eliminating or, or competing with my existence? So I think that's- Queen, can I ask a question? Here. I just, I just feel like y'all don't understand that it's still racism in our community and everything that you just talked about was a privileged white trans woman. So uh -huh. for me, it's kind of like we get the flight as black trans women that uh -huh. y'all would say these things and it has nothing to do with me. That's not my flight. That's not what I'm doing. Yes, I understand she's a trans woman, but we don't have set privileges that y'all feel like we do because we don't. And it's still racism in the LGBT community, <clears throat> period. Well, so we know that. We get that. It is a problem. It a man is swimming. That's a man swimming. He shouldn't be be placed with the women. Like physically, Wait, we're I'm stronger. Saying, Everything about that. Like that, women women that, that don't got nothing to do with me. I'm talking about what we can do in our community so we can move forward for the goalpost. Because y'all talking about shit that don't got shit. But to naughty, do naughty, me. naughty. The problem oh. is that's an overarching implication. That's a, that's how the world is moving right now, and a lot of us don't like how that looks. We don't like that reality. That's all. Like, even though, even if you section us all off by race, you know, black people over here, white people over here, people are allowing that to happen. That's a people problem. 
Because when my black daughter go to college and she got a race with a 6'2", 200 pound, used to be man, that's going to be my problem. And it happened because we allowed it to happen then. You follow? Um, and I wanted to, if I could, uh, is it okay for me to chime in real quick? A look at Nyla's PTR. Well, it's more than that. They're getting reparations in California right now to gays and trans. So what are we talking about? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Hold yeah. on. Nine hundred dollars each, yeah, bro. Like, Nine hundred dollars each. Look at a month. Look at us. Oh, you right. Look, yeah, that's right. They are giving them nine hundred dollars so, each. It's a, it's yeah, a palm spring. And, and, to, and if you want to understand why we're having this conversation, this conversation is being had across all the board and all races. I have white peers who are talking about this. White people are scared for their fucking daughters. How can their daughters compete, cheerlead, and do all this other shit while everything's going on? Like, we're changing this. We're watching this change all across the board. This, this is no longer. But, we can't look at it from, a, from the point of this is a black a black thing. It's happening to all the streets. This is more of a straight thing. That's a good point. Wait, so if it was a black trans woman, they want... Uh it's conflating. Okay, so when y'all pull up bullet points, articles, and things like that, like the problems that y'all have, it becomes, I feel like it becomes that because oftentimes when I see it, it's only white trans women. You know, when you live in a place of privilege and they feel like they don't have privilege anymore to a certain degree, they're going to have a problem with it, right? So then oftentimes when we have that rebuttal, it's always against us and we're in a group of mostly black people and that's not really our problems or our situations. That's just like a white person going into the school shooting it up. That's nine out of ten. Black people don't do all that type of stuff. So y'all conflating us to a certain degree, and it's, it it should not be conflated. Can we? Can you at least say? I'm oh, sorry. You're saying the privilege that's extended to the 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 white trans women, black trans women doesn't have that. Like, so if I if I decide to put hands on you, it you would it would not be considered a hate crime simply because you're black. Because I don't buy that. Because at the end of the day, you're still under the flag, so they would still see it as a hate crime regardless if you're white or black. That was my yeah, question you know, too. It's a lot of black trans women. They're not on the news. You don't see articles about them because we're black first and before we was anything else. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Because oftentimes you don't see that. There's a lot of hate crimes against black trans women that you're not seeing. But isn't there isn't there things that happen in the white trans community that the trans community as a whole uses for like statistics and things of that Chats nature back. to contribute yes. to the crime? Yes, that's okay. this, there's no the no nope. there's no statistics. Uh, sorry, there's no statistics for black trans people. I was just at a conference the other day and they literally were like, "There's no statistics for black trans women or trans men." So, like, so statistically I'm speaking, I'm trans people, whether black or white, benefit from the statistical data that is provided to sustain that trans people are discriminated against or have a higher rate of crime against them. So black black and white trans benefit from that statistics. Again, oh. I just think that y'all don't see the racism in this and it is racism. And I'm telling you like this, it's not what you think it is. And hopefully you can hear me out because I'm telling you like, it's not what you think this is. It's not what it's cracked up 